Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Cilletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.14 from the chapter number 4. The problem is assume the exclusive OR gate has a propagation delay of 10 nanoseconds. That means whenever we have an exclusive OR gate, this exclusive OR gates will give the output after 10 nanoseconds of the time it got the input. Okay, that means after getting the input values, this exclusive OR gate will take 10 nanoseconds of time and it will give the output. And similarly, the N or the OR gates, okay, this N and OR gates, these two gates will have 5 nanoseconds of propagation delay. These are the given conditions. For this is 10 nanoseconds is for the exclusive OR gate and 5 nanoseconds is for the N gate and OR gates. Okay, so we have to find out the total propagation delay or total propagation time that means we have to find out the longest path okay the maximum time delay of the circuit we are given that we have to find out the total propagation delay for the 4 bit adder in figure 4.14 okay so this is the figure 4.14 from the chapter so this figure is for the 4 bit adder circuit with carry look ahead so this circuit is the 4-bit adder circuit with carry look ahead. Okay, so carry look ahead circuitry is inside this box. So we have to find out the total propagation delay after getting this input, how much time it will take to produce this all of these outputs. So we have to see now the propagation delay of the gates and accordingly we have to find out the propagation delay. Here I have written propagation delay in the 4-bit adder with carry look ahead. In this circuit, we can see that these are the XOR gate, N gate, XOR, N. So, to get P3, Z3, P2, Z2, P1, Z1, P0, Z0, okay, so we have to go through this gate. Okay, these gates have propagation delay as given in the question. So, this is an XOR gate. So, it will have a 10, 10 nanosecond of propagation delay. Similarly, this N gate will have 5 nanosecond of propagation delay. So, after 5 nanosecond, we only have this Z3. But, we have to wait for another 5 nanosecond to get the P3. So, we have to wait for 10 nanosecond to get this P3, Z3, P2, Z2, P1, Z1. Okay, P0, Z0. So, we have to write here 10 nanosecond. That means after 10 nanoseconds, we have got all these values P3, Z3, P2, Z2, P0, Z0. Okay, so we have to now see the internal circuitry of this carry look ahead generator. So, from the book, we have this carry look ahead generator circuit. Okay, so here we can see that. So, this is the logic circuit of the carry look ahead generator from the book. It is figure number 4.13 from the fourth edition. Okay, so what we can see that. In this carry look ahead generator, we have two stages of gates. In one stage, we have this N gates and in another stage, we have OR gates. Okay, you can see that each input, this P2, G2, P1, G1, this is given for the 3-bit carry look ahead generator, but we have 4-bit carry look ahead generator. So these inputs, P2, G2, P1, G1, P0, G0 have to undergo this much of delay or the propagation delay of these gates to get this C3, C2, C1. So here we can see that these N gates and the OR gates have 5 nanoseconds of delay for each of them. So let us see the path from P2 to C3. So here we can see that this input have to undergo 5 nanoseconds of delay. Okay, here for this N gate and another 5 nanosecond of delay for this OR gate. Okay, so we'll have a total of 10 nanoseconds of delay. Okay, so here we can say that after getting this P3, Z3, P2, Z2, okay, and so on, we have to wait another 5 nanosecond plus 5 nanosecond. We have to wait to get this C4, C3, C2, and C1. Okay, so here we have to write down that here we'll have 5 nanosecond. This is nanosecond. Okay, plus 5 nanosecond. So after this, this 10 nanosecond is for XOR gate, XOR gate. This 5 nanosecond is for the N gate. And this 5 nanosecond is for the OR gate. So we can see that we have another XOR gates, another stage of XOR gates 
after getting this C3, C2 and C1. So we have to wait another propagation delay of this XOR gauge. So we know that in the question it is given that XOR gauge has a, has a propagation delay of 10 nanosecond. Okay, so after waiting this 10 nanoseconds of propagation delay, we will get this S3, S2, S1 and S0. Okay, so to get this sum output, we have to wait another 10 nanosecond of delay. So we have to add another 10 nanosecond okay so this is for the exor gate so we will have a total of 30 nanosecond of total propagation delay so we have got here 30 nanosecond of propagation delay okay so this is the solution of the problem okay thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you